guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth Ann. I just got my nails done. How cute. I wanted like cherry mocha. New shed candle. Gorge. These three are ones that I've had for a while that I've been meaning to read. This is like a really, really old one, obviously. There's a TV show now about it, but... Um, the last thing he told me, I want to read that. These two I got sometime during the summer. Um, within arm's reach, I really, really want to read this one. Obviously, you guys already know I am Riley Sager's like biggest fan. Um, I have read like literally a page and I keep like putting it down and not finishing it. I don't know if that's because I don't want to finish it or if it's because it's really long and I just haven't taking the time and then when i was at the books the bookstore when i was at the library i wanted to read this this summer and i think i had it on hold but i just like never went and picked it up so i started it i'm like two chapters in it's so good you guys i just got home from work i haven't been doing much reading as in i read maybe another chapter since i last talked to you okay but very exciting First of all, whoa. First of all, I bought this as like a set years ago and I cropped it. I don't know, probably this time last year. I don't think I've worn it since I cropped it. So cute. I was obsessed with this because I wanted to be a podcaster so bad in college. Anyway, I'm having my fixation meal, which is in a bag of vegetables. Today, they're peas with Chick-fil-A, grilled chicken, macaroni and cheese, and a container of buffalo sauce. It's so good. I know you literally can't see me. I just got home from work, so I figured I, so I, figured I would, oh, that's a little better, unbox. I don't think the lighting is good, so. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, you're definitely crooked. I can see the level. But anyway, I just got, fall stuff in the mail. I'm so excited. <gasps> we have a new book. This is a lot longer than I thought it was. It's called A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon. I'm pretty sure this is a young adult. I'm not sure. I really don't know what it's about. All I know is I went on TikTok and searched like all the fall books and ordered those. I really want to read Pumpkin Spice Cafe. But I think I might have said this yesterday. There's nowhere near me that has it in stock. And it's going to take like a month on Amazon, which is crazy. So, I'll sign on that. Oh, I saw a girl, which by the way, don't be this person. And she was like filming a video and she was talking. And it had nothing to do with these eye patches, but she had them on in the video. And I noticed them because they were a lot bigger than others I've seen in the past. Anyway, the entire, like, all the cat comments were like, where'd you get your eye patch? And she's like, linked. And then I went and looked at her pages and they weren't linked. And then it was never, like, they're called blah, blah, blah. It was always, they're linked in my bio. They're linked here. They're linked in this video. Like, just say the name of the eye patches. Why are we gatekeeping? for 20 cents like commission you're gonna get anyway i think they're korean yeah they're korean eye patches they're really thick i'm not gonna put one on but i am gonna open this so i can show you guys like look how thick they are so excited to use those i'm gonna put them in the fridge um they need to cool down but i don't think i got the exact one she got I think I get the retinol one. CBD on that. Okay, next. Whoa. This is supposed to be here yesterday, but for some reason it got delayed. So, this. Ooh, these look a lot shorter. Okay. What's the series called? Okay, so next up we have the X Hex. This was like every single video included the X Hex. And then the new book. I want to say, yeah, okay. I think this one came out last year. I'm not totally sure. 
but there's another one in the same series that is coming out next month. Oh, this came out in 2022. Oh, I don't know why I thought this was new. Uh, I know I'm just behind. Okay. Anyway, so I got these two. Good morning. If you can hear anything, it's I'm watching a podcast in the other room. I'm about to go work out. I woke up, did all the things. I filmed a TikTok versus vlogging. But I'm going to take my book with me. I'm letting my headphones charge really quick. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit. while these charge for probably like 10 minutes. guys i literally hate dnfing but i'm gonna dnf very bad company i think i can listen to it so i'll listen to it when i have a spotify subscription again which will be soon literally like a matter of days but um <clears throat> i can't keep up reading with so many people's like pov and like going back and forth like I think I already mentioned this, but I listened to her other book, and I think that's the only way I was able to get through it, because it's just, like, so confusing. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to start um, another book. We start X is Hex, and then I also am going to pick up You Again from the library, and possibly getting more weenie books and stuff. Good morning, you guys. I just made the cutest coffee in the cutest cup. I got these from Amazon, and I love how this vlog is supposed to be a reading vlog, but it's just slowly turned in to um, another week in my life. It is 11.11. It is the 6th. I'm sitting here. My life is literally just work half the day, and the rest of the day I sit and do as much like YouTube or school work. Um, I'm going to go to the coffee shop in a little bit. I'm, my goal is like one, but anyway, I just finished my first coffee. Let me show you guys my coffee corner really quick. Oh, you guys, I don't know what I did to my ankle. I don't know if it was something in yoga because like I just honest, like honestly, I just don't know what else it could be because it's the only thing I've really done different and it hurts so bad but anyway here's my coffee corner is this not the cutest thing in the world it drives my dad crazy and honestly it drives me crazy too that i keep all my appliances out but i use this and this literally every day and if i don't keep this out i don't get my protein in um but i made this like july last year i have this old canvas sitting around that i had like done some sort of art thing to you can kind of tell because of this black it's painted black um and i didn't line it up perfectly but that's was kind of the vibe as i'm not sure what i've done to you but i'll tell you about the and if you guys don't know that quote then i don't really know what to tell you um <laughs> the original quote is i'm not sure what i've done to you but i'll take a pinot grigio but obviously i don't drink so cappuccino it is also I pre-made all my coffee. I'm gonna have to go like replenish my dad's coffee because it's just been so much easier for me to do this this week and I'm gonna actually make some more for the weekend and the beginning of next week. I've been using this coffee creamer. I don't love it as much as the coconut one I was using. I have to get off coffee creamer though because it's really not good for you. Um, but I think the Chobani is like better than others because yeah, it's literally just milk cream and sugar. So, anywho, when I was starting to film me reading yesterday, I immediately spilled coffee all over my book. So, that kind of caught me yesterday, but I'm going to finish it today. I had no clue, but obviously it's, like, not a real time, but 
the series is like um based in georgia which is so fun it's called glenn wait what's it called do, 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 do. graves glenn anyway all right you guys this is a very homey vlog but like this is just my life my life is literally going to work doing school which i didn't have school this week which was amazing i felt like i kind of had more time to work on tiktok youtube um but it's literally like waking up doing school going to work coming back working out waking up same thing ever and ever but i'm trying to get on the morning ground because i'm not waking up and it's really like i just got to get on top of it i'm giving myself grace because <laughs> i've been through a lot these past few months um but i'm really gonna try tonight like this is gonna be my last cup of coffee and it's like 11 30 and then i'm only gonna have decaf when i go to the coffee shop and then try to go to bed around like winding down around like seven also if you guys are new around here i promise i'm really fun and exciting um yeah this has been sort of an off week but i will say i have been working on my seo a lot on my channel and it's kind of paying off hi guys i just finished cleaning and just like chilling my ankle was hurting so bad so i knew i wasn't gonna be able so i just ended up using today more as a clean day and organizing doing like chores and stuff so that's what i did i had my bag already i ate a late lunch it's now 3 20 and i just vacuumed through my apartment pulled everything back together this is my favorite spot got home i am so tired i am also in so much pain which is two thumbs up um first of all i guess we should go through this did i vlog this oh i did tiktoks so uh cue to the footage last week where i was like i cannot buy any more purses no more purses i'm sorry i had to and you want to know why because I was an idiot that had not gone to fashion school and understood that trends come back. And I had the most gorgeous pieces that I saved up when I was like in middle school or something. Um, just good tour bags and matching wallet. And almost identical, except for, if I can find a picture, I'll put it on the screen. It was the same like velvet, velour, whatever um, print. Like it was imprinted like that. And well, you know, I had to get it because if I have a kid, she has to have her mom's juicy bag when it in turn is in popular is popular when she's at some point in her girlhood. You get it. Anyway. Um I needed a small calendar. They had this on clearance for five dollars. She has a job. I really just need it for work. Got that. And then I got these. I wish I had these when I went to London, um, but they're basically like those like vacuum seal bags, but they're, uh, you don't have to vacuum seal, you know what I mean? So I think, I think there's seven of them, or there's four, but there's four different sizes. I'm gonna use for my upcoming trip and obviously in the future they have such good luggage such good luggage such good bags such good travel accessories um so good so anyway go to your local tj maxx i randomly keep checking for volume because i have ptsd from when i took all this footage and it didn't work and then i had to go get groceries so that's where we're here we went to Target. 
I did film in there, you guys. I ended up getting, you didn't even see me try it on because I tried it on afterwards. But I've been needing a cardigan like this. So I got it for layering um, and also to go over my dress for my cousin's wedding. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Was that today or yesterday? I think today's my cousin's birthday. I got a text from Anyway, now I went in for rice cakes, yogurt, like chips, um, vegetables, chicken, like some sort of meat, and what else do I need? Uh, a few other things, but this is what I left with. My sweet tooth got me because I was hungry and I saw these and I was like, well, if I get this five pack, um, I can't overindulge because there's only five little guys in here. I definitely can, but anyway. I've been trying to buy stuff pre-portioned, so I got these. And in no way did I need these. I needed, like, chips to dip stuff in. But we have them. Up next, I got these gluten-free Annie's thing to make Magic Filet meal I've been making at home. I got two Lean Cuisines because I didn't know they now have like cauliflower gluten-free Lean Cuisines. I got more cream cheese. And uh, I took my big reusable bag, but there wasn't enough room and he was scared to crush my stuff, so that's why we have this bag. Okay, two bags of peas. And what I did last time was I put this entire bag in my Chick-fil-A servings. So anyway, these peppers, I usually, like I have half a bag that I get around to eating in my fridge, um, but these look brand new and fresh. So I'm gonna eat these super fast. I gotta cut them up um, for work tomorrow. Luckily, I have like one serving left of my salad. So I got another salad. I mix it up, I got the Asian style. I go back between this and sweet kale. And then lastly, I got some diced chicken breast. This is my favorite form of chicken like to buy to prep um and oh actually not last i got this for tomorrow my diet dr pepper because i think i drank my last diet coke today i'm like honest to god i'm so tired and my ankle hurts so bad Hey guys, I just got home from work. I'm fixing my dinner. I had more of a snack at work, less of a dinner, which is okay. Luckily, I did this before I left. Um, oh, much better, much better. Here's a little fit check. Here's a little fit check. I actually really like my outfit. I made my jeans, my pretty people. Feeling very like witchy, steamy neck vibes. And then I wore, oh, I got the shovels because my ankle, I really don't know what I've done, but it's still hurting really bad. I, um, gonna check into hopefully seeing the doctor while I'm in back home. I do know that. This coming week's vlog will be a little more interesting because I'm going home. So that'll be fun. I, I don't even know the last time I went home, actually. Let's see if this tastes as good as the Chick-fil-A. The chicken was good. I had some earlier. And honestly, I think I probably needed some more. Oh, it's real cold. <laughs> okay. She needs, she needs a little bit of a rinse and repeat. that new Alex Warren song stuck in my head. Just realized that I never finished wearing my clothes. Oh, you guys didn't even say. I watched The Secret Life of Mormon. What was it? 
see your life of mom talk whatever the mom talk um show and it was so good pajama so i went to wear i don't even think i showed you guys i came home like really quickly from work the other day and i had ordered prints no i didn't because i was filming a tiktok let me show you i got more from gs print shop which is who did the one in the back i'm just like a walking sponsor for her i guess i love and then this one i've had for a while i bought it like a actually pretty long time ago and i just hadn't figured it out yet and it's my favorite quote ever not ever but if you guys don't know the great gatsby is one of the, my favorite movies in the world and it's a quote from daisy and the great gatsby and i always think about it and i think oh my gosh like i bet this was actually zelda fitzgerald like something she said in real life or wrote in real life because if you guys don't know the lore behind that that's a whole other story but anyway it says and i hope she'll be a fool that's the best thing a girl can be in this world a beautiful little fool love and then i started i got all this stuff out to hang it up and realized i'm not tall enough <laughs> um i'm tall enough to like reach up there barely but i'm not tall enough to like hammer in the nails and everything so yeah Okay, I'm gonna change into my PJs. Best feeling in the world. Okay, you guys, I just finished editing all this together. Well, obviously I've already edited mess of it since I still like decently composed. Um, but I think I'm gonna end it here. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys so soon. Like literally picking up in the morning. Um not much to say it's gonna be a really busy hectic week, week. Ah. have a good week love you guys Ooh.